Hi guys, I'm here today. I did a poll on my Instagram and on my Instagram I asked if you guys wanted to see a shop with me vlog or an $80 and under full face makeup challenge. Um, and I got a lot of votes for the full face makeup challenge. So I went ahead and went to Ulta and I got this huge bag of goodies right here. Um, and I had a lot of fun filming the challenge. I did it in separate transactions. Um, I don't know who like originally created this idea. I've seen a bunch of like full face under 100 challenges, stuff like that. So I was like, mm, let's try full face under 80. Um, so I did coupon and used points. There was certain sales going on. So like I will try to explain that to you as we go along. Um, I don't know if like the original challenge is like you're supposed to just spend the hundred in one transaction or anything like that but with this challenge i figured i would show you how you can coupon and how you can really get out of ulta um specifically ulta with a lot of stuff for like a really low price um i won't tell you what i spent until the end um, i will show you all three or four of my receipts separated and then i will show you the math on the bottom and add them together if you guys are interested in seeing my full face under 80 dollars from ulta please continue to i'm going to reach into my bag and i am going to take out my concealer and my eyeshadow um i got a new concealer and a new eyeshadow i just want to mention quickly i became diamond uh that day and i got this like rewards kit and i was really excited about it because i had seen on youtube that people got like full-size products and all this stuff i just want to show you all i got was like this little mini i don't even know what it is it just says rosy skin tone reviving cream um which i don't really want and um a mini mascara so i was kind of bummed when i opened that because i really was looking forward to a full-size product um i know that like at sephora when you hit rouge you get like an airbrush i got the pro airbrush one year and like yeah they're mini products but they're like a little bigger like that one is so tiny like i don't even want to take it out but i was just i was very disappointed um but so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes using my concealer like usual. And I actually got the Tarte um, Shape Tape. I tried this a while ago and I got like way too light of a color and I didn't like it because I don't like a really white under eye. This shade I got is light medium. Um, so I am going to prime my eyelids with this. This concealer, quick story on this, it, I got an email. That's the reason I went and did the sale. Uh, the shopping today, I was going to wait till Sunday, but then I did it because I got an email about this concealer saying that it was half off for Diamond and Platinum members. So it was $13.50. Um, and then I had $6 in points that I was able to use towards this transaction with when I bought this. So I ended up paying nine something for this. I'm really excited to try this again now that it seems like it's a shade that I will use. Um, and you have to pay attention at Ulta because Ulta does a lot of times send you emails saying like hot by the day and something is half off or that's like where I get a lot of the stuff like this on my, my desk right now. This is the Hangover RX primer. I got this for like nine bucks um when it was on sale for the 21 days of beauty and then i used my points all that stuff so there's ways around stuff like that Ulta. but yeah so i'm gonna start off and prime my eye i'm ride or die for my um true faced one at the moment my Too faced concealer so i don't know if this will change my mind on my Too faced concealer because i've tried a bunch of concealers at this point and nothing has changed my mind but we'll see So I did prime my eyes and um, I did set my eyes with the peach meringue shade and the peaches and cream shade from the Too Faced Peach palette um, that I usually use. I think it looks fine. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into eyeshadow and the eyeshadow palette that I got is the Revolution Reloaded um, Basic Matte Palette. As you guys know, I've done reviews on the Revolution palettes prior to this. Um, this is a newer release. They had a few of them that I was interested in um, and they were sold out at my Ulta and um, one of them was like smashed so I didn't buy it but this one I figured I would get the most use out of because I don't have a lot of cool tone matte shades just a lot of warm tone matte shades this palette was seven dollars um so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow I don't have eyelashes I have mascara so I probably will put on eyelashes and that isn't like included in the eighty dollars um but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get it okay so I'm gonna go for a pretty simple look I'm thinking I really like just a quick matte look. So what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the shade right here. Um, and, oh, no, this one right here. And this is like a warm orangey shade. But it's pretty light. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to swipe it all in my crease. The thing about these palettes are is that they're, I've always had really good luck with them. Um, but they are like a bit powdery, which is not a huge deal for me because they're $7. And a lot of times if you buy two of these palettes, you could do the $350 off. Um, 15 like if you bought two or even well you'd have to buy three um, but if you bought two of these palettes and something else you do the 350 off 15 and it ends up being like a really good deal especially because you get so many shadows 
Now I'm gonna just take a little bit of a more fluffy Anastasia shading brush. I'm gonna take the shade next to it, this like ready color. I'm gonna put that a little tiny bit lower in the crease. Focusing it more here. And that just deepens up the crease the tiniest bit. I mean, these shades aren't very dark, but it does give some definition. Um, on a daily basis, this is normally what I do is like a natural kind of matte look. I really like matte shadows. I'll do mattes with like a tiny bit of shimmer in the corner or something like that. Something's really pushing me to go into these two shades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to take my Morphe brush and I'm going to go in with this shade first. And I'm going to focus that more on my outer crease, kind of just stamping it in. And I'll just drag this towards the inner corner more. Yeah, so pretty. Okay. Obviously, again, if the shadow looks messy, like, I will clean it up. I've had people while I'm doing their makeup be like, oh my god, this looks so bad. And then I have to explain to them that, like, I make a mess before I clean it up. It's just kind of my, the way I do my makeup. I don't know. It's just, I find it easier to be a little bit more messy and then clean it up. Um, but the last thing I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm just going to run this with a flat shader brush. And I'm going to run this just in the outer V. I say outer V, I basically put it all the way over. And then I will take it on a blending brush too. And I will take the blending brush and just kind of smoosh it all together once I put a little bit more color on it. Beautiful. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be trying a mascara. Um, I always put mascara under my lashes, but my friend works at Ulta and she suggested this mascara. I texted her and I was like, oh my god, I'm filming a video. Like, what are some things that I could use? Because um, I think everything in here is all first impressions as well. I've never tried any of it. Um, so it was kind of exciting for me. Um, but this is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and this was $4.99 I think um and Casey Holmes is doing a collaboration with Essence right now I mean it hasn't been talked about much but I've seen it on YouTube and like on Instagram and stuff but Casey hasn't announced it herself which I thought was a little weird um but I did want to go and check out that display and I did get some products she came out with a mascara but it had lengthening fibers and I know like my eyes are so sensitive I won't even try that but my friend said that this is a really good mascara so I am going to curl my lashes and we're going to try it oh it's got like a really cool curved wand I'm so picky about mascaras, so this should be interesting. Wow. I'm really impressed. Look how much it has lengthened. I'm actually shocked. I have really little lashes, and my lashes are very dry right now because I wear falsies like almost every day so they are taking a beating um but wow like that looks really pretty it lengthened it it didn't give it a lot of volume but it lengthened it a lot I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on the other eye I'm gonna go ahead and put eyelashes on and I will be back eyelashes that I'm using are going to be drugstore as well so they could fit into this under $80 video if we really wanted to Okay guys, so I do have on my eyelashes. Um, they are the Salon Perfect 614s. You can find them at Walmart. Um, a pack of five is $9, so they are very affordable. Um, but so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a primer. And this primer I saw like really interested me. Um, I'm afraid it's gonna break me out, but we're gonna see because it does not have mica in the ingredients. So maybe, oh, it does have mica in the ingredients. Okay, so it's definitely gonna break me out. Um, but we're gonna try it anyway. Um, and this is the Light Correcting Serum Primer from Catrice. And um, hopefully it doesn't break me out. We'll be positive. But um, usually anything that has mica in it breaks me out. But I see a lot of people using this to get like a really nice bronzy glow. And so I'm interested to try it. Um, I didn't realize it had mica in it. I read the ingredients. I guess I didn't read them well enough. Um, but this is in the shade Sunlight. There was a lighter shade, but I felt it would make me look a little too light. blending in really nicely um it doesn't necessarily feel like 
I mean, it's sticky, like tacky, so I think it will be a good makeup base. Um, it's not pore filling, I will tell you that. Like, it's that's definitely not. It doesn't claim to be. I'm just saying, like, if that's what you're looking for in a primer, this is definitely like a shiny primer. Like, if you see my skin, I look really glowy. I actually probably will put this on like the high points of my face when I went to the beach in the summer and stuff. Um, this is really pretty. It was only $10.99. The thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foundation, which is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. Um, it's mattifying and second skin effect. Tati just did a review on this, um, and she did the 24-hour wear test, and it looked really, really good for a really long time. Um, and I was interested in this foundation before, but once I saw that, I was like totally sold. The only thing that like stressed me out or like I didn't want to review this foundation is because this right here is the darkest shade in Ulta. Tati had said she got like a big package and there was like 18 different shades or 20 different shades um but Ulta only offers five four shades and this is the darkest one and it's warm beige I think it might be a little bit orangey for my skin once I swatched it like on my hand but it will match like my body my neck and my face obviously are a little bit lighter um I haven't been tanning as much so I have lost a bit of my color um so for right now this might be a tad bit too dark but next week it'll match me again I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna shake it quick it has a dropper as well um I think I'm gonna use a beauty blender that's just usually what I always use I'm just gonna squeeze some into the dropper this was opened in my store and so was the Catrice primer but it was the only ones left so It seems a bit liquidy. I'm surprised um, because usually matte foundations are not super liquidy. I wonder if this is going to oxidize. I don't really know how much to put on. There a little bit more here. And I will go back in if I need to. Um, I don't believe that there was mica in this. I'll have to look up. Maybe this was what I was looking at originally. Um, I'll look up the ingredients. So this actually seems like it's an okay color for me. It actually seems a bit light. But again, it's really hard to tell under these lights because these lights do wash your skin out a bit. It almost looks like it's a perfect match to my neck. It might be a little light for my body. But again, in Ulta, this is the darkest shade. Just so you guys know, this is the darkest shade that Ulta carries. Um, which I, for the reason that I didn't want to do this is because you know how I feel about brands and offering like shades for all skin tones um and it, i don't even like to do reviews on other brands or um, on products that don't offer a wider selection because i don't want to do something and you guys like it and then half of my viewers not be able to wear it or vice versa like it's just not right um but this was one of the only foundations in the drugstore uh so far in the drugstore section that i have not tried um besides the essence cranberry water foundation except that one has mica in it but a clearly so does this primer that I wasn't paying attention to but I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna try it for the next few days and see I'm gonna take a little bit more and just add it right here to see if it gives me a little bit more coverage because for once I have red blemishes that we could actually try to cover um I do think the foundation shade is a little bit light but we can bronze it up it's not horrible it's the right undertone it's just a little light so the right undertone is always better than the wrong undertone because if it was pink or something like that, I wouldn't be able to save this. But this is a yellow undertone. It's really nice. It's definitely warm, but we could definitely just bronze it up and save it. And it may actually oxidize a little bit too. I'm not sure. Um, I think it looks gorgeous. I think it actually does look like my second skin. Um, it didn't cover up these blemishes like a crazy amount. Like on my nose, you could see they're peeking through. A decent amount but I have some like dry spots on my nose too and that's clearly not covering those as far as my skin goes though my skin looks like my skin so I really like this um yeah um, but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with my Tarte um shape tape concealer I don't like a crazy thick under eye um no actually this color seems pretty good as long as it doesn't oxidize it seems perfect I like concealers with a yellow base um basically I like everything with a yellow base because I have a yellow skin tone so I don't like pinks or neutrals, not my thing. Um, but so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add a little bit to the tip of my nose just to cover that. Um, so I'm just gonna blend this out with a damp beauty sponge. Okay, so I definitely use too much, um, for my liking at least. Uh, but I'm gonna blend it a lot. This is the perfect color for my under eye. The last time I got this, I got like a really, really white shade and it looked ridiculous.
After, I think I'm going to just throw a quick cream contour on. Again, it's wet and wild. If we wanted to include it in the under $80, spoiler alert, I didn't go over $80. I was pretty much well under $80, so this would still be considered fine, I guess. Um, but I can't go out throughout the whole day without this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my bag, so excuse the noise. Um, I am going to try this essence um loose setting powder and banana and this is a collab with casey holmes this was on the display but yeah so i'm going to take this banana powder this go under my eyes um, but i don't love this color like right off the bat but so far this actually looks really nice i'm obviously gonna let it sit for a bit um before i Wipe so it's it been away. about three minutes that I've let this powder sit. I'm just going to take a brush and wipe this away. Um, it has basically sunken into my skin. I don't really have to wipe much away. Maybe just spread it. I think this is really pretty. It has made my under eye, like, I'm going to come closer. I literally look airbrushed again. I keep saying that with, like, all my reviews. But a lot of the products that I've been trying lately are great. Um, I actually was thinking, like, I haven't really bought anything new from Sephora in a while i've actually been going to ulta so much i love drugstore stuff because it's affordable and honestly the drugstore has been killing everything that they put out lately um i don't understand i used to like really love sephora but now i'm like why spend so much money when i can go to the drugstore and buy stuff that works just as similar and it has a lot of the most a lot of the similar ingredients as well um i bought drugstore foundations like that dior foundation that i loved but it broke me out hardcore so like it's not like it's a difference between the drugstore or the high-end stores um i still do obviously go to sephora to buy like my holy grail products that i use every day like my huda beauty powder that is something that like i will forever like keep buying um i guess i have been to sephora i bought the laura mercier powder and a couple other things but um i don't like love the laura mercier glow powder which is funny um, but yeah, so this is the powder. I am going to go in now and do bronzer. I didn't buy a new bronzer because when I was at the drugstore, I couldn't find a bronzer that like really stood out to me that wasn't crazy expensive. Like there was a few, I have a lot of bronzers. Like, my friend was like, just use the bronzer that you have and like add it into the price. So this, I believe is $4.99 fit into our budget. I just didn't want to be wasteful and buy something that I was not going to use or buy something that I wasn't going to like and return it. Um, so I'm going to take the darker shade. This is the, sh the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contra Palette and this is in the shade Caramel Toffee. It's the darker one. Again, I have this little dry texture patch on my cheek i don't know what it is it's just what it is right now so don't mind it so my bronzer is finished so i guess next i'm going to go into my blush and highlight i have the um casey holmes collaboration with essence and this is the peachy keen palette i figured that this would be the best option for me let me just show you guys um, these are the colors. These are two blushes, two highlights. Um, this highlight I probably would use more as a blush topper than an actual highlight. Um, but this palette was $10. I'm going to take probably the shade Very Beautiful right here. And I'm going to put that right on to my cheek. Oh wow, that's very pretty. It went on very smooth. I'm so excited. Okay, that's really pretty. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight. I'm going to go into Golden Girl and just highlight quickly. Okay, so it's very, very bright, very intense. Um, the tone is not really my kind of tone for a highlight right now. I think it's a little too light for me, but I will go in and just um, tone it down with a beauty sponge it's like extremely blinding if you guys can't tell like that's really intense I'm actually gonna take a tiny bit on my brush and just inner corner highlight For the purpose of this video I'm going to do my brows on camera well I'll st probably start them on camera so you could see how the product works then I will finish them off camera because I'm usually like in my mirror like that i got the revolution beauty duo brow definer and this looks like a dupe for the anastasia uh, beverly hills uh, brow definer i think that's what it's called actually in the shade light brown only because uh i felt like medium brown looks a little bit too red for me i wasn't able to swatch them so i just guessed so i hope that this is a good match um the spoolie seems really nice um it doesn't have as much give as the anastasia one but it's still 
is brushing through my brows really nicely. Just... Kind of hard to work with off the bat because it's pretty thick. I drew like a really thick line underneath. I don't normally do it like that. But I'm just gonna fill in the sparse spot product through the rest of my brow. So I always fill in the tail. I think that this color is nice. It's definitely not light brown though. This would be like my version of the Benefit 3.5 or the Benefit 3 shade 3. Um, it's definitely not light brown. Like if you were blonde or something like that, I wouldn't use this. Um, well, I am blonde, but I mean like if you had blonde brows. Okay, so I think you did a really good job. Uh, it was pretty fast, it was pretty easy. I'm going to do this brow off camera and then I will come back. I'm gonna jump back in quickly to the Revolution palette and I'm gonna take this like really like light pink whitey shade or this like whitey yellow shade right here on a flat definer brush um, and I'm just gonna apply this right under my brow bone. Okay, I'm going to apply my mascara under my eyelashes using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara again. Last thing I'm going to do is my setting spray, and I got the Revolution London um, Sport Fix Setting Spray. Um, this is Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. Actually, so let's shake it up, and let's spray my face. Okay, so I feel like I sprayed enough. I felt like I had to spray a lot to get like an even coverage. It smells kind of like pool water. Um, so I'm going to let this sit and set by itself. So the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Essence Shine Shine um, lip gloss. And this is in the shade 05, so into it. And this is more of a cool, um, like, mauve tone because, you know, it's fall. So uh, this was $2.99. I think that looks go goes so pretty with my eye. Girl, I'm loving this. Okay. I did not have high hopes. I was like, oh my god. I just threw a bunch of random crap in here. I really didn't even, like, plan for the lip gloss to match the, the, the eyeshadow palette as well as it does. Like, that's great. I didn't plan any of that. Uh, before we go quickly, let me pull out my receipt. My several receipts. Um, I also bought that is on this receipt that we can't count towards this. Um, I bought the Tony Moly, um magic foot peeling masks i buy those all the time uh they actually really do work and they really do peel your feet um and i need that because it's the end of the summer my skin is dead uh i have to go get a pedicure but i like to do that first um, for this receipt this receipt had the casey holmes banana powder um and with my coupons like i said um i did use coupons as well as i got an emailed coupon um for five off ten if you shop at ulta regularly and your email is in there check your coupons um and check your email because they always will send you coupons um so the casey holmes banana powder was regularly priced 4.99 um with the money off of transaction these are my points so the money off the transaction was a dollar 16 i ended up paying 381 for um the I used my points, I believe, on this transaction, and so I had six dollars in points. I ended up paying two eighty one for the banana powder. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape, like I said, it was on sale for fifty percent off that day specifically, so it was thirteen fifty from twenty seven dollars. And then with my points, I ended up paying nine ninety for it, which is unreal. Um, the Casey Holmes face palette was nine ninety nine. With my money off transaction, I paid five sixty two. So the total when you take away the foot mask is $19.73. Um, so the next receipt I have is the foundation. So I got the Catrice HD Liquid Cover Foundation. It is regularly $10.99. I used the $3.50 off 15 coupon, which brought this foundation to $8.58. And then I got the Makeup Revolution Eyebrow Definer, and that was $5 with the $3.50 off. It ended up being $3.91. I say $3.50 off because they take $3.50 off the full transaction, and then they separate it like this. Um, so there is that one, and the total for that receipt was $13.28. Um, Next, I have the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. 
That's my dog. Just ignore him. Um, the Essence Lash Princess Mascara is $4.99. Um, and the Essence Shine Shine Lip Gloss was $2.99. And then the Makeup Revolution um, Fixing Spray was $8 for 3.38 fluid ounces. The girl actually, she was trying to help. So I really appreciate it because she was great. She was so helpful. The fact that I had four transactions and there's people behind me and she didn't even care. Like I hate being that girl. Um, but she gave me a 20% off coupon and she tried to apply the 350 but it didn't work. And I wasn't going to make her go back and like take it all out um so with the 20 percent off i saved a dollar 60 instead of the 350 so the makeup revolutions fixing spray was the only thing i got 20 percent off of because it was off of one item so i paid 640 for that so my total for this receipt was 1530 um and also as a diamond member you earn 50 percent more points so i earned like a bunch of points as well and then the last receipt is the catrice light correcting serum primer it is the same price as the foundation it is 10.99 um, and with the 350 off, I paid 885 for it. Um, and then the Makeup Revolutions Basic Mattes Palette was $7 with the 350 off. I paid 564. I want to mention in the first receipt, I also had a $5 off $10 coupon. So that is why those things became um, significantly cheaper as well because I bought the banana powder and the face palette. So the face palette ended up being like basically half off because of the five dollar off ten because the face palette was ten dollars and then also um in the at the end total we are going to add 4.99 for the wet and wild bronzer contour thing you could get it cheaper somewhere but for 4.99 is what it's listed as online um so we are going to add that into the total so for the full face of makeup all these products all nine products i paid 68.53 for this full face of makeup i think that is awesome this concealer alone this tarte shape tape concealer is 27 dollars. so i really made out really well ulta is the place to go if you are shopping on a budget or you like to coupon i used to love to coupon a long time ago um when i had more time but so ulta will let you split up transactions usually they're not jerks about it um you have the 350 off coupons they always have some type of coupon whether it be 350 off 15 or um 20% off and you can use that on a lot of the like drugstore side brands um, and occasionally they will let you use it on prestige depending on your email but always check your email and sign up for Ulta emails and their reward system it is so worth it you get points for everything you buy which is then in turn money off and you can really work it out so that you're getting some great stuff at a good price um, I had a lot of fun filming this challenge I thought it was a little different than filming like a review challenge or like a review video for you guys I thought a challenge would be a little bit more interesting so thank you guys for watching if you liked this kind of video please make sure you like below please comment and subscribe and i will see you guys later